The colonies in Star Dynasties have been carved up by political houses that essentially own regions of these bases and these industrial installations. And the houses are families with a patriarch or a matriarch at their head, the family, the extended family, and some trusted advisors of the family. Characters in your house are going to have a particular skill set and you'll assign them to roles within your house. You might assign them to be diplomats and then send them out to other houses to act as your representatives. You might assign them to administration where they'll help you administer both your house and your empire. You might assign them to military where they will help in the military adventures that your house embarks on. You might assign them to the medical department and you might assign them to security, where they will help ferret out the secrets of your opponents and hide your own. Certain actions in Star Dynasties will create secrets. Now, if you take an action that creates a secret, that, that's typically a liability. Maybe you've assassinated someone, or you've tried to sabotage the rule of another ruler by inciting unrest on their colony. These secrets will stick around and they can be discovered by the security team of various political houses. So you can also uh, spend some of your resources to, to try to cover up these secrets. When you do something that is a secret, for example, you might be having an affair. You might not even want your security team to find out, which puts you in a bit of a quandary because you want to make sure that the people you place into your security team are people you will also trust with your secrets. For example, if you do want to have an affair, you'd better not put your wife as the head of the security department. Sometimes falling in love is a liability. If your character falls in love with the wrong person and you're in a particularly precarious political position, then you, you're not going to feel like you can pursue that without risking creating some big political drama. Because if that comes out, it's going to reduce your standing with your peers, with your vassals. When you're in, when you're loved, that's fine. It'll be an indiscretion that people will forget. But if you're going through a period of turmoil, that could be the, the straw that tips you into rebellion. On the flip side, if your character is in a happy marriage, or is in a rewarding relationship, they're also going to be happier for it. Happiness is important in the game. You want your character to be happy because as a result of that, other characters will like your character more. Your character will also be more engaged. They'll grow more quickly in experience and more things will go in their favor. Conversely, if they're particularly unhappy, they could get depressed and that will have a detrimental effect on all they do. Another thing your security team will help you out with is against foul play. Characters can be murdered in the game. You could be murdered by someone in your own house who's got a grudge against you, or by assassins sent by other houses. Even an ambassador that has been sent by another house could be used as a tool by that political house to try to get to you personally. A secret can bring down an empire. For example, if you know that one of the leaders in a neighboring faction is having an affair with, the, with a, the wife of one of their rulers, if that secret comes out, that ruler could rebel. And rebelling, they could take other rulers with them, splitting that leader's faction. So just by revealing that secret, you could destroy that empire without ever declaring war.